What's up, FCC family? My name is Matthew McCoy. Thank you for joining in on our Abiding in Jesus journey through the Gospel of John. Now let's begin once again by remembering Jesus' promise to us from John 15, verses 7 and 8. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. And now, as we prepare our hearts to hear and read the living word of the Lord, allow me to pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity, Lord, and I'm thankful for everyone who is with us on this journey. Help us to abide in Jesus, for we come to you, Father, in his name. Guide us through and speak to us all, Lord. Help us to understand and to abide in your word. Open our hearts and open our minds to you. And so let us be true disciples of yours. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Today is April 6th, and I'll be reading from John chapter 15, verses 1 through 17. Now hear the word of the Lord. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. Amen. May the Lord give us ears to hear his word. God bless you all.